Hello, Dr. J here wanting to share with you information about your thyroid. Uh, basically, your thyroid is your energy plant of the body, and um, there's two main hormones with the thyroid, T4 and T3. Now, T4 is made in the thyroid, and what it does is it tells tissues to grow. Your skin, nails, hair, eyebrows, everything like this. And T4 is 100% dependent on iodine. Now, uh, that's part of what the thyroid does. The other part is T3. So T4 does tissue growth. T3 does heat. Okay. People that have cold hands, cold feet, get cold a lot, their T3 conversion isn't working right. Because T3 is for energy and heat production. It's what makes us mammals. Okay. Um, basically, T4 has to be converted to T3 at the level of the tissues and also in the liver. And to do this requires selenium, okay? So if you have a thyroid problem, it's one of two things. It actually could be several things. Insufficiency in iodine in our system, in our diet, because unless you're eating lots of green leafy vegetables and Brussels sprouts and kale and all these fun things and seaweed, you're not probably getting enough iodine. Now, um, Selenium sources are basically oils, good rich oils, cod liver oil, fish oil. What we use is Cataplex E from Standard Process. So the problem with iodine in America anyway is because it's, it is being competed by with all the other chemicals in the environment from bromine, which is in any baked goods product that you find in the store, uh, fluorine, which is in dental products and also in the water, and chlorine, which is in our water. So chlorine, bromine, and fluorine help to displace iodine out of the thyroid. And when you do that, the thyroid can't function right. It can't make proper T4. And when you can't make top, po proper T4, is, since T4 is for tissue growth, these are the people that have problems healing. Okay, and They have, also are losing hair, lateral third of their eyebrows. They just can't heal properly. Now, also, if you don't have enough T4, even without the selenium, you can, if you don't have enough T4, you can't convert to T3. So these are also people that have slow, cold metabolism. Their metabolism cold. Their hands are cold. They can't lose weight. They have a low metabolism. So what we do, guess what? We give them iodine, prolamine iodine from Standard Process, which helps to obviously give the body what it needs to make T4, but it also displaces the chlorine, fluorine, and bromine out of the thyroid to get those out of there. Now, we also give people the cataplex E, which is high in selenium, so your body can convert T4 to T3. And literally over about a week or less time, maybe a little more, but when we give people the iodine and the selenium, your body starts making the enough T4 and it's also converting T4 to T3. And hands, cold hands and cold feet can go away in a week or less. Okay, It may take longer than that, but that's typically what we see. We also give people what's called thiotrophin, which helps to heal the thyroid and also we give them a thyroid complex from Mediherb. Uh, those four things, prolamine iodine, cataplex E, thiotrophin, and thyroid complex. Now people that have hyperthyroid, too much thyroid production, we give them what's called uh, motherwort and bugleweed. And what these do, these are herbs, liquid herbs from uh, Mediherb and Standard Process. And what they do is they block the conversion of T4 to T3. And in doing that, it calms the thyroid cascade down. And their hyperthyroidism comes down to normalize. So if it's hypo, we have ways of normalizing it. If it's hyper, we have ways of normalizing it. So I hope this made sense. It's actually quite simple with the thyroid. Of course, we start upstream and always do the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis support. That's the HPA axis I talked about on another video. Just click on the website to HPA axis and you can watch that. That's the what the brain is telling the thyroid what to do properly and that has to be working right also. Um, also, another pearl in there, liver function has to be working properly because a lot of the thyroid hormone convert from T4 to T3 happens in the liver. So that can be, a, uh, we have to look at several things with the thyroid for it to be functioning properly. But if you have problems losing weight, if you have problems uh, healing, if you have problems with cold hands, cold feet, a lot of this is thyroid symptoms. And a lot of it is subclinical and it doesn't show up on a blood test. Your body will do anything and everything to keep the blood levels normal. And by the time it actually shows up in the blood, it's a, it's a disease process. So we try and get to it based off of symptoms and just common sense but so they don't have to go to a disease state and then start correction from there. So I hope this made sense with the thyroid. Support the thyroid hormone with iodine and selenium. 
and uh, herbs and some thytrophin, and uh, it can pretty well be normalized in a short period of time. Hope this made sense. Please email me your questions at drj at g, drjnutrition at gmail.com. Thank you.